Hey guys, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping, and in this video, a retraction and a follow-up to my last video. But first, yes hooples, I did trim the beard. I'm glad you could tell. Anyways, in my last video I said that the mess kit which Steve from Team Foco sent to me from Ozark Trail was made out of aluminum because I could have sworn I had kept that box, but I couldn't find it when I met, went to make the video. So I went online and checked, and it said that the same thing sold on Walmart.com for the same price is made from aluminum. But I did end up finding that box, and the one that he sent me is in fact made from stainless steel. So apparently they have multiple models out. Anyways, sorry about that. I definitely got it wrong. The stainless steel definitely bumps the quality up a little bit in my mind, and probably in the minds of many. Uh, although in the mind of Uncle Al, it's still just cheap China stuff. So, I think that it is a kingly gift. I appreciate that very much, and I'm sure it will be put to good use at some point in the future. So, definitely stainless steel. I should have just noticed that as Evil Evil Rick pointed out. Um, just clearly not aluminum. Anyways, aside from pointing out that anything from Ozark Trail and Walmart in general is cheap China crap, Uncle Al also asked for a not video, and he's been asking for that in recent videos anyways and I think that that's really a good point and I had decided to focus on practicing knots more and getting one to share and so he just sort of bumped that over into happening with his last comment since I'm doing some follow-up for that video I'll just follow up that comment as well so what we have here is some toe strap well not toe strap this is ratchet strap you wouldn't tow anything with this um, I do have some toe strap here, and I keep that in my car kit, but I'm not going to do this with that today. So what we're doing here is joining two lengths of webbing together, and this can be pretty valuable in a few different situations, because a lot of people are just going to have this kind of thing around for webbing for just a lot of different purposes, not proper climbing webbing or anything like that. So today we're just joining this together so that you can get a longer bit to make maybe a safety harness or something like that out of. And when we're done, we're also going to share how to get this kind of stuff or pretty much any kind of knot apart uh, efficiently. So what we're going to do to start is we're going to get our webbing pretty straight and flat so that we don't have any kinks or flips in it anywhere. It's not of vital importance, but it's pretty important. And let's flip around so we can all do this together. So we have our two flat pieces, we have our two flat pieces of webbing here. The one side goes around the back, under the other piece, over the other piece, and through. The live end from the other bit of webbing makes a mirror image and follows the live end from the other piece back through to the static end. And we're keeping it under the other piece. so that we end up 
with a double line running through it all. Make sure to keep it all tucked nice and close together. Now, this will be subject, as you use it over and over again, to loosening. And so you can take the live end of each one and knot it close down to here. Or if you're going to be using it for a while, sewing it together here so it doesn't feed itself back through and eventually fail. And no matter what, you're inspecting it often. Now, this can go on to be used as a loop to make safety harnesses and unconscious person repelling harnesses. But that's not going to be within the scope of today's video. But what we will do is show a very quick way to undo knots like this, which will probably be valuable and I bet some of you will go do after this video. So basically what we're doing is imitating the forces of nature that cause something like this to fall apart, which is exactly the opposite of what causes it to tighten. So basically, pinch your live or static ends, however you're looking at it, I have both here, and wiggle them towards each other, applying force. By squeezing them and even twisting them a little bit, you'll make them stiff enough to push pressure into the knot. Now I'll do it with the end that I've been using as I practice this for a few hours now. This one isn't too tight, but it's had a bit of pressure applied to it. Pushing it together and wiggling it in a circular motion and back and forth can insert slack into the weave and get it all to come apart. Now this won't come readily apart because I've actually fed the lines through the eyelets of the hooks. But as you can see, that pushed that knot right apart. Anyways, I hope that's been interesting. I hope it's been valuable to you guys. Uh, go ahead and re-watch that and practice it because it's just a really valuable way to get two bits of webbing together. It can be done with rope, but I can't vouch for the safety of it. Now, as always, I'm not an expert, so use this kind of stuff at your own risk. Research the safety and risks involved and practice it for yourself. Do everything at your own uh, caution, basically. So... Anyways, I hope that was interesting. Hope you're all doing well out there. Thanks for watching. Everybody stay safe.